Hello, welcome to this sound design tutorial. I am Tony Kasoma, a sound designer, Foley artist, and also head of training here at Quad Air Records. In this video, we are going to look at a sound design approach to your TV commercials. We are going to cover how you can set up your session, how you can interpret the director's vision, how you can spot the session, how you can select the right sound effects library, how you can edit your sound effects. I'll use an example of a Go TV commercial that we have just finished working on. The director of this commercial is Lukman Ali. So just to begin, how can you set up your session? First of all, you need to have your work folders in place, very organized. As you can see here, I have my Go TV sound design folder. And in this folder, you'll find my Pro Tools project. Uh, then I have my Go TV video folder where I place all the videos that have come from the director. Then I have another extra folder for recording VO. I'll just create a new session to show you how I bring all my files in. I'm using Pro Tools Ultimate. Pro Tools is the best editing software so far in the industry. I'm going to create a new session. And this new session, I'm going to name it uh, Go TV uh, Sound Design. As you can see, your file type, you have the BWF. WAV. Your sample rate is 48. Why you're working in 48 is because you're working with video. As your bit depth, you want to work with 24 bit. So I'll save Go TV Sound Design, create this session. So where will I save it? Of course, in my Go TV folder. Here I'm just going to name it Go TV Sound Design Example since I already have the name, so I'll just use Go TV Sound Design Example. So you save this. We shall come back to this session again. I'm just trying to show you how I set up my session. So Pro Tools will give you such an empty session. And the first thing is to import your video. Select your video to a new track. In the video options tool. Pick the best resolution. So in Pro Tools, you want to see whether the video frame rate matches the frame rate of the session, this here, the 24 frames per second shows the frame rate of the video. Then when you go to set up, click set up, go to session, you're going to see the frame rate of the session. So we can see that it is 24, 24. And in Pro Tools, when you see white for example, if I change the frame rate here to 25, it immediately goes red. So how do I know that my frame rate matches the session frame rate is when the session has 24, the video has 24, so it will show this in white, not red. And also you want to see uh, the sample rate. And here we're using 48. Also, our time code is beginning at 0000. zero, zero, zero. Next, uh, we want to interpret the director's vision. This is the point where you sit with the director and then you discuss what direction you want the commercial to take. Do you want it to have a cinematic feel? Do you want it to just be simply music? or do you want it to have a touch of sound design so that the audience can have a better experience? So my first approach, of course, is going to be to mark up the scenes. So I'll create markers. And in Pro Tools, uh, when you're creating markers, of course, 
you click on this plus sign and it will bring you this uh, dialog box and here you can have your location one so this is like the next scene that I would mark just right there I create a new location and call that location two and then on and on and on then the other thing I want to do is to create trucks to create a new truck you're going to press shift command n so the trucks I'm going to create first I'll create like four mono audio trucks then I'll create four stereo audio trucks and these are going to represent my backgrounds so I can name this backgrounds one then I can name this backgrounds two then backgrounds three then backgrounds four then the next set of tracks of course sound effects I'll create the same number of four mono audio tracks four stereo tracks for the sound effects then I will name them FX1 FX2 FX3 FX4 then my folly tracks I could choose um, six mono tracks so you have folly one you have folly two Folly 3, Folly 4. I use F or L to represent Folly. So Fall 5, Fall 6. So I have this as my tracks well organized. Backgrounds, of course, represent the atmospheres. The backgrounds is your ampere. For example, here we are at a lake. What do you hear when you're at the lake? Then for SFX, here of course we have that truck coming right in. Then Foley, Foley falls in categories of you have props, for example, he's holding a bag. Then his feet, feet is another category of Foley. And then cloth in the category of Foley. Then FX, you have cars. Then backgrounds, of course, the ambience of the area. What what space are you in? If it was in a city, what ambience is there? The cars, the traffic. Right now it is a rural setting. You're looking at the ambience of a village. You're hearing some birds and it's day. So you're hearing some day crickets. So that represents your backgrounds category. So this is how I set up my session quickly. I can route all of them to a bus. So I'll go select create new track, aux input, and then I can call this my FX bus. And then I've set all these to bus three, four. So I come here on Pro Tools and select bus three, four. I can rename that to FX bus. Then the other track I want to bring in is my master. Click it, go to master fader of course it is in stereo so that is how I set up my session then of course simply save so the next thing is to bring in the samples so we shall look at how we select the right samples quickly I'll go back to the complete session 
have 24 frames per second uh, I have marked my scenes this is forest that's where we begin we move on to the bus we go to the lake we have an offshore marker from the offshore marker we have the market right there then the school then the suburb then the taxi park then the hills then the home and then home interior and of course the end that's how the commercial is running and that's how I've marked my scenes and then you have the trucks here really named backgrounds the ones in yellow are my FX and then the the pink ones are my folly trucks we shall just go category by category and see what was done in them so for my first scene the forest scene i have these backgrounds here background bg1a bg1b bg1c bg1d and bg1e i will solo each to hear what each is contributing to the scene this background represents the trees. We have some wind that is going on. So just following backgrounds 1A. So you notice that I have panned it onto the left. And then I will solo backgrounds B. This have panned to my right, then background C. So I have these three backgrounds. They're in the same category, but different characters. So what I do is to create that immersive sound is that I have them panned in different places. So I have background 1a panned to the left and then have background 1b panned to the right and then background uh, 1c panned in the center so when i combine the three they they give that immersive feel but of course this ambience is not f full as yet because definitely if you have trees you would expect birds and some animals in there so i led that with uh, another background and another background with insects and some birds in there to create the tropical feel of the forest Another element that I added uh, to define this scene more is a broom tone to give a sense of his inner bus but layered with our previous backgrounds. So you can hear he's in the bus. And then, of course, the external ambience outside the bus. Yeah, so that is that for that scene. And then our next scene here, we have... We are at the lake shore. So the ambience here is definitely water. We have some birds in there. Just our solo just for us to hear. Then I have that more with Let me just play the other background So you have that 
Then you have this. This was added to create an expanse. There's activity taking place, but there's also things far, far, far in the background, an atmosphere far in the background, just to play so that you're here again. And then you have that. This this is added for the layer. And then you have this. This is also another layer. And then you have background 3G. So when you have all this combined in this scene, this is what you come up with. Yeah, so that is our lecture scene and then the market definitely we have right shot so you have human walla going on uh, this is human walla collected from a marketplace so you have it going on there to create the scene of they are in the market so when you have it all combined so that is it all combined as one then we can go to the next scene which is the school That is in your left, your left. So background 4A is in the center. 4A is the stereo feel with kids surrounding you all around. 4B. For b is your center background. Then 4C is your left background. You can hear it has a fly in there. Then 4D. Is your right background. So when you have them all combined. that you come up with could play that again yeah so our suburb let's go to the suburb scene and that is backgrounds 8a here Quite short sure too. So when you combine all, this 
so I should come up with and then we have our backgrounds 5a in the taxi park we have elements pan to your left background 5b then background 5c that is background 5c pan to your left to your right so when i play all of them So the heels, we have 7A here, right, 7A, this is our background 7B, then background 7C. So the wind is the sound of the bushy plants in the scene. Then of course some some buds in there. So when you have it all combined, this is what you come up with. And you don't want it to cut so immediately. You want it to fade and have a smooth fade out. Because when it cuts so immediately, it will sound so chopped. For example, just to give you an example, if I cut it from where the scene just quickly ends, this is what you would have. So you want it to fade out smoothly into the next scene as it picks on the next background. And that is our, the homestead in the compound. So we have that. We have that. And we have that. When you play all of them, that's what you come up with. Again. We have our home interior. So you have that room tone inside the house. And some buds in the background. But you can hear that the room tone is louder than the exterior background. So let's go to this category, the sound effects, the ones in yellow here. We have the water there. We have the ball. We have the van over here with the chicken in there. So I'll just solo this category here and let's hear what each individual element is doing. So first I have my bus coming and 
and I have it right fed through into the next scene. Then I layered it with I had it layered with that sound uh, to give you the feel of the engine still running while he enters. Uh, then we have, of course, the element of the door opening right before he, he comes in. Then the door closes when he gets in. So, those three combined give us this. So the other element of sound effects is the chicken which was added Let's listen to that again Then in our next scene of course we have the water when it picks the ball from the water then we have that and we get the effect of the ball coming out of the water so the three combined have that effect right there and then over here we have them he catches the ball hands it over to him and then of course we have them juggle the ball okay and that was it for that scene uh, the market, of course, we had nothing there. Uh, for the school, we have the school bell right here. It comes early, fades into the school scene to create a continuity between the scenes. Rather than having the school bell at this point, you want to have it earlier to create a link between the scenes. So if I was to put it late, this you would have it like that. But remember, the kids are already outside school, so we want to portray that the 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 bell was rung. The the kids went out of of class, so we bring it earlier, and it also helps to glue the two scenes together: the market and the school. And then of course in the same scene of the school we have the, the boy hit the bug. I'll repeat that. That is our bug. Just like the school scene, we do the same thing with the taxi. And then fade it out into the next scene. This, this, this is a technique that you can use to help glue the scenes together so that you don't have abrupt cuts that can create um, 
an artificial kind of uh, feel to the whole commercial. So you want things to start earlier and end earlier and end later into the scenes to glue the scenes together. If there's an element that you can use, that you can use to glue the scenes together, then you can use that. So uh, we have a van as the element that can glue the two scenes from the suburb into the taxi park and then off to the hills. adding the element of the door opening. The bicycle is the effect for this hill scene. And then rides right through to the next scene and then of course here we have the effect of gift that was requested for by the director also. And then we have the Go TV. A little addition was the feet. So we have him run to the bus. We have the kids. So there are two kids that whose shoes were highlighted. Uh, the first is the one that slaps the bug. Then of course we have the dad's feet. As our last. So this represents our folly section. We have our feet in there. Then we have our FX, where we have the water, the bicycle, the bus, the chicken, then our backgrounds right there. When you play everything combined, this is what you come up with. So that is what it is like to create sound design elements. Remember to always have your uh, library set, have your samples, high quality samples. Use multiple layers to create more thickness to the sounds. 
so this is how I come up with the sound design uh, for this TV commercial the same approach I would use for all other commercials and documentaries first you need to always sit with the director understand the vision know the direction in which the commercial should take so uh, that is it for this video tutorial I hope you learned a lot to keep up to date with the latest tutorials from Quad A, please subscribe to our YouTube page. And if you enjoyed this video and looking forward for more videos like this, click on that button and of course catch you next time.